Okay. Hey, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome so much to the Middle Class Millionaire Plan. I want to share with everybody uh, a, a really great story and an operation that we can build on a person-by-person -person basis. So it's about becoming an influencer and being an advocate. It's a much different position than we normally think about as an insurance agent, okay? So the advocacy network originally, it was created to help people avoid, avoid all forms of financial victimization. So scams, fraud, predatory sales tactics. And at that time I wrote a book called You Might Be Getting Scammed When. Now to date, the work that's been done in the advocacy network has helped save over $15 million. Those were all dollars that would have been directly lost to a some form of a financial victimization. So the middle class millionaire plan is a system to help average Joes, the average middle class family attain financial independence. And how can we do that? So we got We've got a story that discusses the problem. A long time ago, it came to my mind that I started to understand that all the years I've been in the insurance industry and all the years I've listened to the stories, the stories have consistently been about more savings, paying down debt, or something of that nature, when the real issue is increasing income. Because just like any business, the number one priority for any business, big, small, large, major corporation, the number one priority is to increase income, okay? Thereby increasing profits, but increase income, increase revenue. It's no different with an American family. They need to increase their income, but they're not aware of that because they don't see a way out. They don't see the ability to increase the income. So what we've done is we provided them with the tool to increase the income without interfering with what they do in life, okay? So presently, if you look at this, we're in the richest nation in the world. We have the highest rate of financial illiteracy in the world. So everyone we speak with is suffering from some form of financial illiteracy. Now, it's not their fault, but they're unaware, okay? There's trillions, literally trillions of dollars of debts being held by the middle class. And that's not getting any better with interest rates going up. That's making it even worse. So long baked into the habits for people is the cycle of work, earn, spend, borrow, and pay. And because of this, people suffer from reverse compound interest, meaning that they're paying interest on the interest that they have borrowed. So they're never getting out of this cycle, okay? But what's unaware is how the wealthy have used financial tools, which are available to everyone. And that's our story. We're going to show people how, as a middle-class person, they can use the same tools that the wealthy people get a chance to use simply by increasing their income. So the system is going to create awareness. So this story is a nice, simple story to tell everybody. The book is available on the website and people can download the book. So when you speak to someone, you say, hey, check on the book, download the book, and I'll speak to you, uh, you know, after you had a chance to look through the book and I'll create a consultation with you, okay? So it's a simple uh, concept-driven system, a uh, series of financial concepts and steps that are a three-step process. The target audience is going to be the middle class. That gives us about 180 million potential people to speak with, okay? So I don't want anyone to start uh, being concerned about who am I going to talk to, when am I going to tell this story, because again, we're using this model and, uh, you know, go back to the A.L. Williams uh, model where they went person to person telling a very simple story, and they ended up building a $1 billion in sales organization in less than 10 years. That's a billion dollars in sales in less than 10 years, okay? So uh, we're going to talk to people about a unique asset class, which is basically the funding of life insurance into the infinite banking concept. Life insurance is a unique asset, creates tax-free liquidity, liquidity tax-free income, and generational wealth. So this is very easy to communicate this story. Now, this is not the story we're going to communicate, but this is the meeting where I can show people what it is we're doing, and then we can also train, coach, and develop on the actual message, the story itself, okay? Now, i just show you something. So what agents need to know, and this is why all our agents, which I always find amazing, you got literally tens of thousands of people with insurance licenses, okay? Now, I can tell you Gideon Duplessis. Now, I promise you, you don't know him. You should, but you don't know him, okay? Gideon Duplessis is um, the leading life insurance producer in the world. 
This man has earned $70 million per year for the last 10 years. $70 million a year, every year for the last 10 years. And guess where he's from? He's in India, of all places, in India. Okay? The top 10 uh, producers in the middle, in the, in the middle, uh, in the million dollar round table are all career agency producers. So they're not, they're not brokers. They're not independents. They're people who sell for one company and sell one product. And these are people who earn two million, a million, a half a million dollars a year, and some on, on the highest scale, maybe four or five million a year. Okay. The greatest names in the industry of life insurance, they all sold a concept, not a product. They all sold a concept. Okay. Ben Feldman, he sold um, he sold dollars for pennies based on uh, people's uh, need for estate planning. And Ben Feldman in little Liverpool, Ohio, little tiny town, Ben Feldman was the number one life insurance producer for 20 years in the entire industry every year. Okay. In the smallest town you could find in America. All right. So, they built referral-based practices by gaining authority. None of them were generalists. So what I'm saying to you now is our authority is going to be our story. So the largest insurance movement in the U.S., what was it? It was A.L. Williams back in 1982, 83, 84, somewhere in that range, and his replacement movement. Okay? So what did he do? He created a mission that was based upon uh, this story, okay, on a concept and um, he he did a lot of he did a lot of I think a lot of damage ultimately to some people in the, in the wrong thing, but it led to a hundred billion in sales and two billion in revenue in his operation. Now it still exists today, never changed. It's a major multi-billion dollar organization which spreads the same financial illiteracy it's always spread. But our system, plus the financial concierge concept, is going to help people with financial literacy really good stuff. And the benefit is uh, it's going to benefit tens of thousands of potential prospects. And here's the nice thing. The revenue on this is 10 times the revenue that A.L. Williams was doing in his original roll-up. His average commission was maybe $800. The average commission in what we're doing is going to be $8,000. So we can certainly expand more rapidly and we can certainly have a larger volume than even he built okay so you got to create awareness most people are unaware of what we're going to be talking to them about and that's very simple okay it's about increasing income that's the message the key to attaining financial independence for anybody in the middle class anybody is increasing income but that's true for everyone that's true for the wealthy Okay, that's true for the business owner. That's true for the corporate president. It's all about increasing income. And this system will increase their income and give them the financial tools that they need to become financially independent. So how are they going to do that, right? Well, the financial concierge is the advocate that helps people attain financial independence while they also attain financial independence. It's the product of the product. It's the absolute same thing that A.L. Williams did in the beginning of his crusade and his mission. This has to be a mission. The middle-class millionaire plan is not simply some kind of system or concept. It's a mission. It's something that you are so hell-bent on telling people because it's so good for them that you want to go out of your way to mention it so that they know about it. And it's a, the system is very good from a perspective of learn, earn, reach, and teach. Again, this comes right back to the A.L. Williams business model. Okay, learn, earn, reach, and teach. So basically what's going to happen is you're helping people learn. When they learn, they start to earn. As they're earning, they're increasing their ability to uh, become financially independent. Then they're reaching out and they're teaching others the same thing. And the cycle comes back. Learn, earn, reach, and teach. So everyone who becomes a client becomes a financial concierge. Becomes a client, becomes a financial concierge. And then you just start seeing the law of multiplicity roll down it's no different this is how that model was built this is that basic uh business model okay so what we got here is a unique scenario life insurance is a unique asset base not an investment it's not what everybody thinks it is it's a unique asset base that creates tax-free liquidity tax-free income and generational wealth 
we're the first to the market with this concept because we are not telling the same old story everyone else is telling. We're not telling a story about create more savings, pay down more debt. We're not telling that story. We're telling a story from the purest perspective of increase your income. Increase your income and you can do and have anything you want to have. There's no FMO, IMO, or carriers that are reaching out to the middle class with this message. We're it. This, if not for us, this message does not go out. Okay? Now, it's tested because the life insurance itself is over 175 years old, the concept of life insurance, and there's over 50 hundred plus year old companies, 50 or more. Okay. So there's plenty of carriers. We got carriers. We got plenty of carriers. We don't need more carriers. We need the concept to tell the message, to tell the story. Okay. We believe that the middle class deserves the same opportunities that the wealthy do, and they should have access to the same financial tools and products. And that is part of the message, making the middle class feel like, wow, I can do everything that all those other wealthy people can do. So the product and the benefits is a three-step process. It's a consistent presentation and education. It never changes. The story is the story. It's a short story. It's an easy story. It's got a hero. It's got a villain. Okay? People become a product of the product. This was the multiplier that A.L. Williams put in his formula. Becoming a product of the product. So a real quick overview on this business model. Okay? Uh, Research-wise, people around me who are executive advisory to me, we have over 100 years experience in this industry. So we have plenty of research and plenty of experience, okay? Belief from our business model. We believe the middle class has long been underserved and they deserve to know what the wealthy know. That's what we believe, okay? And the design is a financial concierge agency hierarchy platform built on learn, earn, reach, and teach. So basically, your job is to find a one other person to help them learn, help them earn, help them reach out and teach another. And everyone does the same thing. So one by one, and we can do that through meetings like this. We can do it through one-on-ones. We can do it through live get-togethers. It doesn't make a difference as long as the message is being spread. The message is the important part. It's evangelistic, okay? It's not a religion. And it's not anything else. But if you look at the message of the gospel, it was spread person by person with a story, a story that had a hero and a story that had a villain. Okay. And a simple story that that people tacked on to. That's why this is a mission. Okay. Presently in this market that we're looking at, middle class people are holding $16.4 trillion in debt. 16 point, that's half of the overall debt that the United States is holding for themselves. This is all the middle class consumers, okay? So the median income, which is considered middle class, is $63,500. So that's that's the target. That's the target area, okay? People making somewhere around 60000 and on a family making, say, ninety to one hundred. That's the target. There's so many of those for us to be talking to, okay? The bottom 10% of all life insurance agents in our industry, they earn $20,000 or less per year. The the commission on one case in our plan, in our system, is $8,000. That never changes. It doesn't go higher or lower. It's $8,000, okay? The top 10% of life insurance agents in our industry earn $120,000 or more. That's the top 10%. So everyone in between, that 80% in between is somewhere at a median income of about $45,000 a year. So what we're looking at, when we talk about increasing income, if a person did one of these plans a month, one of these plans a month, they earn $96,000 a year. That's one plan a month. And that doesn't count that their clients now sell a plan, which you override, and then their clients sell a plan, which you override, and so and so and so and so, so that your income is easily, easily at one sale a month, your income is somewhere in the hundred and forty fifty thousand dollar range. Now that's enough for anyone to build this plan, okay? And everyone can have that type of income if they follow through in the message and the plan. So that market gives us this opportunity. We can develop awareness 
and display why increasing income is the only solution. When you're 16.4, when you're 16.4 trillion in debt and you're carrying an average of $96,000 household debt, the ability to earn more income is not hard for you to kind con concept for you to gain. Okay? So when you're only earning $63,500 a year, got no opportunity to earn any more, got all of this debt, then there's a proof of need to increase your income. So there's no opportunity for financial independence without increasing that income. I don't care what you do. You're never going to be financially independent unless you increase that income. Okay? So where and how to increase the income? Well, by becoming a financial concierge, you become a product of the product. And you keep building more products of the product. Okay? Every single client becomes a financial concierge because that's where they're going to increase their income. And every single client that finds another, that's how they're going to create their income. So it's built, it's baked into the cake. It's everything that A.L. Williams did in the beginning of his model. It's why he, he sold a billion dollars worth of insurance. Because he created an army in a mission statement. An army, a literal army, tens of thousands of people roaming the earth telling everybody this story. Okay? So, sounds like a lot, but believe me, it can grow very fast. So, who are our competition? Well, IMOs, FMOs, uh, uh, multi-level marketing agencies, which is what A.L. Williams is now Primerica, you know, these places. Okay? Um, they see the middle class as a single needs market. They sell mortgage insurance and final expense to a single needs market that got nothing to do with financial independence whatsoever. Okay. It's strictly solving a perceived problem with a simple solution. That's what they do. That's what they sell every day. Okay. That's how they work. Okay. They also promote qualified planning for retirement, which for us is the greatest financial victimization of our time. So we're helping people liquidate out of 401ks to get into these kind of plans all the time. And by the way, there's over $34 trillion in, in, in um, qualified financial, uh, qualified retirement plans, okay? So who's the competitors in this? There's really not any, but let's just look at it. Say Primerica, they're on a message of term and invest the rest. That's total financial illiteracy. That's helping no one, okay? WFG, PHP, FFL, FFS, FES, or, and, and many others. There's so many of them, you can't keep a, a count. But they all use debt reduction concept along with a single need sale, showing people some form of how to reduce their debt using an IL, IUL product or something of this nature. That's what they do. That's not creating financial independence, okay? And it's creating a bigger problem seven, eight years down the road. Game plan. Game plan is probably the biggest independent IMO, FMO. All the, uh, all the named IMOs, FMOs are all under game plan for the most part. They have rolled them all up and game plan own, owns almost every single one of them. And they own it through um, uh, uh, one or two insurance carriers. You'd be surprised how many IMOs are owned by insurance carriers, directly owned by an insurance carrier. So you think you're independent, you're owned by one carrier. Okay. Now, what's the growth strategy? By this time next year, and I'm looking at this very, very modestly, I want to have 100 financial concierges with a premium production of average $10,000 each. Okay. That's that's um, uh, that creates a million dollars in revenue. OK, now I think that that between you and I, that's modest. I think that may may could happen in three months rather than one year. June 20, 2024, I'd like to have that doubled. I think that's pretty good. And then double the median average, which equals four million in annual production. And again, I'm being very modest and very conservative on this. And I think that I have to revamp these numbers after really thinking and considering that in 10 years, A.L. Williams did ten, it did uh, a billion in sales, okay? So by January 25, we'd have 500 financial concierges, average median of $25,000. And again, that's only these people doing one or two sales. That's not them doing a sale a month, okay? These numbers blow off the charts if it's a sale a month, if it's two sales a month, if it's a sale a week. All right. So that equals like 12.5 million. So these are a little bit of the financials. It's not important uh, right now for everybody. But here's the thing. In summary, the middle class millionaire plan is a system that's going to help average people learn, earn, reach and teach others on how to attain financial independence. It's a simple story. It's got a hero. It's got a villain. 
This is going to be accomplished through a simple three-step process, which is fully transferable. Anybody can learn it. Anybody can do it. It's a mission which is singularly differentiated by a commitment to helping middle-class people attain financial independence. That's the whole story in a nutshell. It's about people becoming financially literate and becoming financially independent. That's our story. And that's the story that we need to replicate, duplicate, and promote across the, the nation. And because of the ability with Zoom and because of the nature of, of how we can now communicate, we have something A.L. Williams didn't have. In 1984-85, when A.L. Williams started, that was a person-to-person -person deal. The best thing they could do is start a Monday night or a Tuesday night meeting where everybody would bring in two or three people themselves and they'd have this meeting and they would, you know, multiply. And then they had to find in other people in another city, in another state, all over the place. And that thing had to grow. Now we don't need the hotel room to grow it. We've got the tools to digitally grow it. People only have to sit in their living room in their pajamas and show up to a webinar to grow it. People only got to sit at home in the in, in, in the comfort of their home, speaking to a person on a consultation on the computer. Sure, you can still do person to person. There's no reason not to if you're out there and you're with people. But again, we have all these virtual tools now. So exponentially, we could spread this mission and this statement 10 times faster than A.L. Williams was able to spread his message because he didn't have the tools. He didn't have the digital ability. So again, I want to close with everybody this evening to let you know that this is a mission. Now, I'm going to be here every Tuesday night, and I'm going to do this every single Tuesday night until we grow so big that I've got to add Wednesday night and then grow so big that I've got to add Thursday night. We'll plug in a, a Wednesday afternoon coaching and training. And if we grow It'll be Monday training, Tuesday training, Wednesday training, Thursday training, Friday training. We'll have as much training as humanly possible. All the pieces exist. This is nothing that needs something else. The book is in place. The web portal for the book is in place. The ability for uh, people to have the presentation and learn how to present is in place. The ability for agents to get licensed and become um, licensed agents so that they're able to be a financial concierge and earn their additional income is in place. It's very affordable, it's $35, it's in place. Everything, the carriers are in place. So all we need now is the beginning of the surge with a handful of people out there spreading and telling the message. I'm available to do consultations every day of the week all day long, okay? I will do those consultations and help and spread the story. I will do this from the top down. It's not a problem. I'm not looking for people to, uh, to just be subservient or serve me, no. I want people to serve the mission. The mission is what counts. The mission is the story. The story is about financial independence and the only way to get there is to directly increase your income and to have in place tools like an infinite bank, a business, something that you can grow beyond just uh, your job. Don't have to leave your job. Keep your job. Keep your income. This could be done in 10 hours a week. Five hours a week. There were people in the beginning of A.L. Williams who only worked a couple hours a week. Plumbers, truck drivers, all kinds of people from every walk of life. And then you saw some who just did so well that they that's all they did. And they were making several hundred thousand, you know, half a million dollars a year. Some millionaires were created out of it, no doubt. Numerous millionaires. Some people actually got made more than that. Some people made a million, two million a year. So it's all attainable. It's all there. We've got everything that they had. And we're in the right time. We're in the perfect time. You're in the perfect time, just like the perfect time in the early 80s, there was a deep recession before Reagan took office. Horrible economy, horrible recession. And life insurance was one of the great, great tools of that time. 
Hell, it was easy to sell life insurance in a period like that. We're getting ready to roll, roll into that kind of thing again. So this is a magnificent story. It needs to be told. We got a book for people to see it and read it. We've got coaching. We've got training. We've got experience. We've got great carriers. We have everything. Now all we need is the people. So I want to thank you for your time. And I'm just going to uh, uh, say that I'll see you again next week.